back to the channel. I'm so glad you can join me again today. I've got an exciting review. We're gonna to go to into a comparison on Mission to Mars, the complete remastered Blu-ray set. And there's a lot of interesting things about this and I guarantee a lot of you didn't know this was even released remastered on Blu-ray. And it's a pretty exciting set. It took me a long time to get a hold of this and find this and I'm really excited that I finally got my copy. And this is something I've been looking at doing for a while. I just haven't had the time because of everything else that I've been going through, reviews and things like that. So we're gonna be diving into Mission to Mars, the complete remastered Blu-ray set. And I got a lot of exciting information to share on this. I did want to touch on what the movie was, for those of you that don't know. It's based on an original Disney theme park ride that was released back at the Disney parks back in the 60s. And I think it was 1969 or 68 when the original ride first came out at Disney theme parks. And that ride had been there for a long time. It was a fictional kind of going to Mars, kind of like making people imagine they were going to Mars. But the reason it's tied to this is that ride then they decided to make a movie that was supposed to be tied to basically Disney's theme park ride and so they made and filmed Mission to Mars and Brian De Palma is actually the director of the film and what's interesting about this film is, is that the ride basically then got shut down and then Disney went and built a new ride which is tied to the film which is Mission Space in Epcot. So it's kind of a long story how basically it was originally a ride at Disney, then they closed that down, made a movie, then made a new ride, Mission to Space, which is tied to actually one of the actors in this. If you've ever been on that ride at Epcot, for example, the Mission Space actually has Gary Sinise, who is actually the actor in this movie, is actually in that ride and kind of like introduces you to the space program. And it's a pretty cool ride. And for those of us that are nostalgic to Disney, and I always grew up going to the Disney parks, I always did like this movie. I liked how it tied together um, basically the Disney ride, then the new ride, and you know, Gary Sinise, I always liked him as an actor. And maybe I'm saying his last name wrong. I think that's right though. But I did like him and I did like the movie. Um, some people back in 2000 when this was released did not think that it was an amazing movie. Is it an award winner? Well, and this might offend some of you, and I really felt like it was a faster paced, a little bit better, like action and comedy, 2001 A Space Odyssey. And maybe you hate that reference because you think 2001 A Space Odyssey is amazing. And, but in my opinion, there's a lot of things, including the ending and things like that, that are very similar um, through the movies, especially there's several scenes that harken to Stanley Kubrick's film. So it's kind of a hard thing for me because I went to see this in theater. I never saw 2001 A Space Odyssey in theater. So I thought this on the big screen looked really great. Now I was, obviously it was the year 2000. So special effects weren't as advanced as they are now, but I still think the film holds up extremely well, even on TVs now with the 1080p remaster of this, that it, special effects look pretty darn good. They were done by Industrial Light and Magic and they've always done a phenomenal job with special effects. And if you've seen any films like the Star Wars films, those are industrial light and magic. And they're who did the special effects on this. And it, and it holds up quite well. I was surprised. I hadn't seen this film since my original DVD release I had like, oh, I think it was at least 15 years ago. And that's how long it's been since I've seen this. So when I got this, it was kind of like going into it new again and being refreshed on the movie and things like that. And I did enjoy it. It's an enjoyable sci-fi film. If you've seen any of Disney sci-fi films that they've done over the years, they kind of grow in what I would call cult status over time, some of them. This is one of them, kind of like the black hole was from years ago that Disney did. I think this one has gotten better over time. Now, I don't know if it's because my memory over time enjoyed it more, but a little history on the Blu-ray so you get a little background here. I have a couple of things I wanna cover real quick with all of you, so stick with me here. As always, please make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification right next to it. That way you get notified any new releases I come out with, hidden things, just like what I've been doing a lot of these review videos, or even my hauls, I stick in mini reviews and little reviews of different sets I get in and things like that. And this is one of those things that it's a unique review we're doing today that you probably didn't know is available. So make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get notified when anything new comes out. And as always, I will have the links for everything I talk about listed down below in the description section right below this video. 
So if you want to get any of the things that I talk about, just like this Mission to Mars Blu-ray set, the link for it will be listed in the description section right below this video. So clicking on that does help support the channel, and I appreciate all of the support I've gotten from all of you. I just want to say thank you. Please keep it coming, and any questions, comments, always post them below. But as always, make sure to click the like button, the subscribe button, and then the bell notification next to it. And then you can always follow me on my Instagram, which is always In Search of Physical Media, or my Facebook page, which is In Search of Physical Media as well. All right, let's get back into this Blu-ray review. We've got a lot to cover here. So back on the Blu-ray here. What's unique about this set is there was one other Blu-ray release many years ago, about seven and a half years ago, if I remember correctly, France released it. This film was big in France. Um, I think it was rated number four of the top films, sci-fi films that France had had come out in a long time. Now, Brian De Palma is obviously the director of it, and this was his final film that he actually directed in the United States of America. After this film, he actually left the USA because he thought Disney was very restrictive to work with, and they wanted too much out of the film and demanded too much out of him that it, he felt like it kind of sucked the life out of him. So I do look at this as kind of like his... I don't know if I want to call it a swan song, but it was his last American film. He did Mission Impossible, obviously, before this with Tom Cruise, which I really enjoyed that film. And I thought he did a good job with this. The practical effects in this movie is why I think it's held up so well over time, including now. So the practical effects in this were great. Now, this set is not the France set. The France set I did not ever buy. And the reason why, that set was 1080i, it was not a full 1080p remaster, they did not remaster the sound on that set either, and that set had burned in subtitles. This set has none. Now here's what's unique about this. You're probably looking at this and saying, this looks like it was released in the USA. It's in English, it got the actors' names in English above. Well, it's not. It is a German release. But what's very unique, as you probably found out if you watch most of the videos on my channel, this set, is region free. So you can buy this set and import it to any country. If you live in England, you live in Australia, you live in Japan, the USA, doesn't matter. On this set, and I'm going to show you above like I always do, screenshots of the cover and screen and things like that as we're going through, but we're going to talk about the cover here and actually the set for a second. So this set, as you can see the front of it, when you flip it over to the back here, you're going to see up here the back side of it, okay? On the back side here, you'll see where it has regions listed. It's region A, B, and C, region free release. So what's really unique about this set is, is you buy it, you don't have to have a region free Blu-ray player to play this set. So that's a huge thing for those of you that don't want to uh, basically have to go buy a Blu-ray player or a region free Blu-ray player, you just wanna be able to use it. It is ABC region free, you can use it in any Blu-ray player, anywhere in the world, doesn't matter. So that was a huge thing about this release. The other thing is, is it did have a full DTS HD master audio remaster of the audio in 5.1. And I'll be honest with you, it sounded great. Now, I will have later on in this do a comparison in this video between the Blu-ray remaster and the DVD. And there's some shocking things about it. I was really surprised. But we're going to talk about just kind of the special features and audio here and a little bit about the movie. Then we'll get into the comparison a little later in the video. So make sure you stick around for that because we'll get into that here a little bit later. All right. So it does have the DTS HD Master Audio. It's in English 5.1. Now here's what's unique. This set does not have burned in subtitles in German, French. All of them are choice and options you have whether you want subtitles or not. And it does have both English audio at 5.1 DTS HD Master, as well as German 5.1 DTS HD Master audio. It does have audio commentary, 2.0 audio commentary. If you do want to play it in English, there is an English audio commentary on it as well. It is in 16 by 9 widescreen and a full 1080p HD remaster. So that's where this is the only release, this set is the only remastered, fully remastered 1080p Mission to Mars release that exists anywhere in the world. The French one that's out of print you can't even get with burned in subtitles, it was 1080i. This is full 1080p and it looks pretty darn good. So those were some unique things on this. I will point out special features wise, it does have a ton of special features and they are in English or German as well. Now. On the special features, they do have an option to put German subtitles or to play it in just English with no subtitles. 
They are not burned in at all. So I went in and tried them all. There was only one special feature that was specifically made for this set alone where they talk about Mission to Mars, some behind the scenes things that was in German. That was specifically made for this set. That's the only one that it was never released on the US sets originally anyway. So you're not missing out on anything. It has a ton of special features in this and they're on Blu-ray. They look great and they're all included on this in English. So you can watch the special features in English or you can watch the movie in English. No subtitles of German, no German audio if you don't want it. You can choose whatever you want. It's on, off, nothing's burned in, which is great on this set. So I'm gonna cover a little bit of the special features that are on the set, just to give you an idea of how extensive they are in this set. So you obviously get the one special feature. It's only a five minute special feature of that they filmed just for this set. And it's them just talking about the movie. Um, that's the only thing that's in German. The rest of it's all in English. Um, you've got audio commentaries with visual effects supervisor, making of behind the scenes, 21 minutes, alternate ending, uh, which obviously the alternate ending is pretty cool. You get that included in visual it. effects analysis is um, behind the scenes, another behind the scenes, talking with the director, evolution of the film, and then a bunch of like the 3D animation, how they made the 3D animation, special effects, interviews with Gary Sinise, Tim Robbins, Don Cheadle, Connie Nielsen, Jerry O'Connell, Kim Delaney, Brian De Palma, Story Musgrave, and Tom Jacobson. The original American theatrical trailer in English and the German theatrical trailer. Um, and then there's a bunch of other like little two minute, the basically talking with the director, talking with the special effects supervisor. So there is a massive amount of special features in this. If you're a fan of sci-fi movies and having special features, they crammed them all in this and it is great. For this being a Disney film that basically has never been remastered or released in the US and I don't think it's going to be. It's not even available in full 1080p HD on streaming services. This is the highest quality of this film you can get. Well, I did enjoy the film and it's one of those sci-fi movies that takes a grounded approach kind of like 2001 A Space Odyssey did or kind of it has a feeling of like Apollo 13-ish. Now it's not obviously as good as Apollo 13. Don't hold it to those lights saying, oh, he said it's as great as Apollo 13. If you've never seen the movie, it's not as great as Apollo 13, but I do love Gary Sinise in it. I thought Tim Robbins did a great job. Don Cheadle was great in it. There's just a lot of really great actors in it. And now, is it my all-time favorite sci-fi film? No, but you know what? Up there with, like I said, some of those really enjoyable, just good, you sit down, nothing bad in it, just a good sci-fi film. So let's get into the box set here a little bit. Now, this comes in a book. You probably noticed this is an actual book. It actually is, it's a real hardcover book that they actually put a case inside, which I did like. So it sits like a book, it's the same size as a small novel, which I did like that. So it's got a book spine, says Mission to Mars in English on it, Mission to Mars in English on the front, the actor's name's in English. So you really, again, this is another German release that I think they know that the audience in America is craving things like this to collect. So they're releasing it with English on it, just like I said, all the English audio remastered, um, all the special features are in English. So I really do applaud them for releasing this set and it does look great. I really like the glossy. If you can see how, I'm trying to catch the light here. There we go. How glossy, I mean, it's just glossy. I really like the case and I think they did a great job. Now, inside when you open it up, you're gonna have here your disc and this is your Blu-ray disc. Then you're gonna have a booklet here cause it's actually a book. So you've got a physical book inside it. So when you open it up and you got this book here, I'm not going to show you every page, but it's got some really nice photos on it. And as always, I'm going to post some of these photos like what we're talking about here as I'm going through. I'll post them up there so you can see them because I know sometimes when I'm holding it, it's hard to see. I always try to give you guys the, and gals the best viewing that you can get. That's why I post things up here because I get a lot of things that people say, wow, I really like that you put those photos up there because it's always hard to see when somebody's holding it and they're talking about it and flashing it around. So I do post those up there. That way it makes it something unique. So when you watch this, you can actually see it clearly what I'm talking about. But the photos in it are really nice. And I really like behind the scenes books. As a lot of you know, I like to have these photo books and I thought the photos in it were really nice. Glossy pages, nice. Now, most of the writing in it is all German. There are some English words in it, but the actual book itself, most of the writing in it is German. So if you want to decipher it, you could use one of those phone apps and then you could go through and read through it. But I thought the pictures were great. You know, the amount of pictures that they had throughout it, I really enjoyed. And I did like the booklet. Um, I thought there was some really nice, I'll show you like this one here, like two page pictures in it. So I just, it's a nice added touch, especially because it doesn't cost a whole ton. You're not going to spend 80 bucks for this set, which 
you know, there are some sets that are. So them throwing in the book in it, I did really like that. And again, as you can see, these are the pra practical effects they used in it that the filming just really stood out to me and I enjoyed that. So get it here to the end. Then you get to the end of the book. And I didn't go through all the pages. Like I said, that's something when you get the book or the set yourself, you can go through them all. But it does have at the end two other discs. Now, these two discs are all contained the same amount of content on the one Blu-ray that's at the beginning. These are DVD discs. So those of us that own the original DVD set, which I'm going to do a comparison and show you what the difference between the DVD and the remaster is, but they do include a DVD version of the movie. It's the same release that was released before. So it's not remastered. It's the original DVD quality and it's pretty darn rough, just like the DVDs that were released in the USA. So as far as that goes, they did include it. I'm not quite sure why most sets aren't released with DVDs anymore, especially if you're buying the Blu-ray. Um, they could have probably saved some money and not included the two DVDs that are in here, but they did and it's in there, so it's an extra bonus. So you do have a DVD of the movie, and then you have a DVD with all the bonus special features that are contained in the Blu-ray. Um, the Blu-ray special features do obviously look better because they are upscaled and they're not SD. The movie itself is what's been remastered in this set. So that's, that's actually what you have in the set. Now, talking about the actual quality of it here, the actual quality of the 1080p remaster on this, I thought was stunning, and here's why. Compared to the DVD, and I'm gonna show you some screenshots here. I'm gonna set this down here. The remaster on this is a full 1080p. Now I'm gonna show you up here above. Over here, we're gonna have the Blu-ray. Over here, we're gonna have the DVD. Now, the difference between them should be drastic. I'm gonna start off here. This first picture you see up here is going to be the introduction of when the film starts with the words of those who were acting in the film. You know how it shows them going along before the movie actually starts. This is the beginning, and I thought this really clearly showed the amount of work that went into this remaster, which surprises me because it was only released in Germany. And that maybe a 1080p remaster that they do, sometimes they don't always clean up all the like grain or damage to the film or just overall just, I mean, there were so many like screen tears and things on the DVD when you watched it. You could see little speckles and just a lot of damage to the film. Well, in this opening scene here, I've taken several of these to show you because I thought this was the easiest way to clearly show it because at the beginning, it is so obvious and throughout the film, you can see the difference that they did with the remaster versus the DVD. If you watch one and then you put your DVD in, you're gonna notice a big difference. So on the 1080p here remaster, you'll see how clear the words are, but only not only that, you'll notice that there's not all these little like um, divots in the screen, tears and speckles and like black spots. There's like black little swiggly spots on the DVD over here. And there's numerous of them throughout it that they literally went on this 1080p remaster and they cleaned up the image gorgeously. They took the speckles out, they left the film grain, the natural film grain that should be there, but what shouldn't have been there is, is when they made the DVDs, because it didn't do very well, Disney just basically dumped it on DVD without fixing or cleaning the film or anything. So that's why the DVDs looked so horrible for every DVD that was released. But this remaster, they actually took their time and Alive and Studio Canal actually went back and remastered it and took out the speckles and the things that shouldn't be there that weren't in the original film and cleaned it up without DNRing it heavily or doing anything like that. There was actually quite a lot of film grain throughout it because it was physical, practical effects instead of all computer generated special effects. A lot of like the screen, the shots of like the starships and I'll show you up here like of the starship, you know, when it's going the spaceship, sorry, calling it a starship, I'm into Star Trek here. But the spaceships as you're going along, the black sky was so clear out there in space with the, the spots of the stars on the remaster. And then you come over onto the actual like DVD and man, was it like gray and hazy and tons of like screen tearing and it wasn't clear and crisp. So overall, I mean, hands down, this 1080p remaster looks great. So the spaceship shots look great and space looks great. It's dark, it's got a nice dark image to it, black. And then over on the DVD, it was like grayed out. Big, big difference, huge difference. I, I would say hands down, the difference between the two is shocking. So now going through like the facial tones and things like that, obviously on the DVD, you're looking at a 480 image versus obviously a full 1080p remaster. So 
the green and the amount of what you can see in someone's skin and their reflection and their hair and the detail in their clothes, it's hands down drastically different than what the DVD has on it. So well worth the remaster. And if you like the film or you haven't seen the film, it is worth getting. The remaster on it was beautiful. I did not have high hopes for this. And here's why. I thought to myself, you know, it includes the DVD. I'm guessing they maybe upscaled the DVD that they didn't do a full remaster on it. So I thought maybe it was just an upscaled DVD. Sometimes there are some I get from Germany that I haven't done reviews on, but that I do get that are more or less, they are upscaled, maybe look a little better in the DVD. This was not. This was a full hands down 1080p remaster and it is shocking how good this looks versus what the DVDs were. And the audio quality, hands down, blows away the DVDs. We've got a full 5.1 HD master audio mix on this DTS HD master audio. In case I didn't see DTS earlier, I don't remember. But it is a full DTS HD master audio 5.1 and it had a great sound. I'm talking it would hit the bass and rumbling and you could hear the effects going around when they're on Mars and the winds blowing in circles. You could actually hear it going around the room, which on the DVD, it was never that good. Um, the audio quality on it was never anywhere as good as what this Blu-ray has. It was crisp, it was clean. Just like the visual quality that you're seeing up here, the difference between the Blu-ray and obviously the DVD, it, it's drastic. So in visual quality with the Blu-ray versus the DVD, we're, we're talking about an easy 85% upgrade in visual quality and clarity, in color saturation, obviously in sharpness. They cleaned the image up so drastically that you pop your DVD in, and this is what I do sometimes because it's shocking to me to see in this case how much better it is how they took out all the speckles and the screen tears and just made the image look great. Not waxy. They kept the actual skin tones and, like I said, some of the natural film grain, but they just increased the actual just clarity and gorgeousness of the picture that it actually makes Mission to Mars look pretty darn amazing in today's standards considering most of it was practical effects. It looks great. So as far as that goes, like I said, you're looking at a huge upgrade in visual quality over the DVD. Now as far as the movie goes, I do enjoy the movie. Not my all-time favorite sci-fi film of all time, but it is an enjoyable sci-fi romp that if you're wanting something that you sit down and enjoy doesn't have anything really bad in it. I mean it's a very clean film. It's recommended because of that but practical effects and Kind of like the idea of, you know, you're, you're living with the astronauts on a spaceship and living through what they're going through. And it kind of makes you just feel like what it would be like to go to Mars. And I love things having to do with astronauts and NASA and the space program. And I loved how grounded this film was. Red Planet that came out around the same time in 2000, I felt like was more of a sci-fi-ish film. Whereas I felt Mission to Mars was more grounded. And that's what Brian De Palma was going for, and he even talks about it in the special features, which I did watch and I did enjoy, is that he was really trying to ground this film and make it not such a big spectacle of special effects, but something you felt like you were just going along with the astronauts, kind of watching a documentary type thing of what might happen if we went to Mars. And I enjoyed that. I do like the film. So for Mission to Mars, I did like the film, and I do love the box set, how it comes in a hardcover book, and it's glossy. I loved how it looks like a book. I also like that it had the book inside it, that they actually have that tied inside there with all the different pictures. I liked how all the special features were in English on the disc and it's not region locked, so you can play it anywhere. So the region free set makes it a huge bonus. And then on top of that, the remaster and how gorgeous of a remaster they did with the audio quality and then also the visual quality. I wish this would be on 4K because obviously I think how great it looks on this, the 4K would even blow that away. But I don't know that we're going to get anything more than just this set because Disney doesn't want to touch this. And so I'm amazed this was even released. So I'm thankful to have this on 1080p HD Blu-ray and it looks great. And I think this is going to be the best it's ever going to look. So because of that, I give this with the combination of the movie, what I liked about the movie, what I didn't like about the movie, this one's going to get an 8.9. The box set is great on this. So I'm not trying to tell you it's not. It's just, it's not my all-time favorite sci-fi film. So... The movie, the box set, everything combines together. 8.9 is a great score for this set. I did love it and I do think it's worth importing. I do have the link down there in the description section right below this video that if you do decide you want to get it, it doesn't cost too much. But if you like sci-fi and you like Mission to Mars, let alone you're a collector like me, this was one I wanted to add to my collection. I enjoyed the film enough that I wanted to see if the remaster was worth it. And let me tell you, 
alone on the remaster, what they did in the Blu-ray versus the DVD, the 8.9 on this is well worth this. If you're going to buy the set, 8.9 is worth your time to buy it. No, it's not going to be like the Princess Bride that I just reviewed that was 4K remaster. Obviously, it's not a 4K remaster, but for a Blu-ray, it's up there with one of the best Blu-ray remasters considering they took the speckles and took the time to actually work on the film to make it look good. I think it's a great release. And I think we should support it. Um, I think everybody that likes sci-fi, if you like sci-fi, should give it a chance. Mission to Mars, complete remastered Blu-ray. You're looking at an 8.9 for this, which is a great score for this set. I would suggest importing it. I enjoyed the movie. Let me know what you think about the movie, if you enjoyed it, if you liked it, if you've seen it, if you're going to import it. Let me know if you even knew this was released. I was amazed this was released because the one in France came out so many years ago and had basically where the subtitles were locked on it. I thought we'd never see it because Disney doesn't touch any of these. And this being a Disney film, I really was glad to own it because I like to collect all the Disney older sci-fis and things like that. Like, you know, obviously I like Black Hole. I've got that. And I really liked this set. I thought it was really well done. So I was glad to own Mission to Mars and have it on Blu-ray. And in my opinion, this is worth importing and owning, especially if you're, like I said, a collector like myself. I wanted to add this to my collection because I know that Disney's not touching shows like this and movies like this anymore, and they're not going to. They've made it clear they're not gonna go back. Things that they thought weren't successful enough, they're never gonna remaster or release. Let alone, if they ever do, it would be on Disney Plus, and we'd never see it because those of us that are physical media collectors like myself, I don't do Disney Plus or any digital streaming service like most of you know. It's just, I won't touch them. I don't believe in paying for something that I never own. So I'll buy this. So even if this were to cost me way more money than a couple of months of having Disney Plus streaming, to me owning this and knowing that I can go and watch this anytime I want is a huge benefit to me. Movie I enjoyed, so therefore owning it to me is well worth it. If you take, somebody spends, let's say 40 bucks a month for Disney Plus or one of those streaming services, they could buy several movies that they import that they own, and then they have their own collection. And guess what? You're not tied to if that movie's available on their service or if they've taken it off. And that's where I love my collection. Those of you that collect know that collecting is so important nowadays because less and less things are coming out. And so this release, I was excited to own. I love owning a lot of these original Disney sci-fi films. And this was one of them that we're never gonna get in the US. This is what we're gonna get of it. And the Blu-ray remaster on it is beautiful. And so therefore, I was very excited to own this. When I actually watched it, I was blown away because I did not have high hopes for it. I thought, such a small release, a small studio, it's probably not gonna be that well done. And then I saw Studio Canal had done it when the title comes out that they had helped remaster it. I was like, wow, this looks great. So it does look great. I suggest getting it 8.9 for this review score. Please let me know what you thought of this review. If you were surprised about this one, because a lot of people didn't know about it and I, I try to bring you all something new and exciting that you just didn't know was released. So I hope this is something new that you didn't know was released or available. I was excited to do this after I watched it. know what you think about it if you liked the movie. If it's something you liked the movie a little bit and hey, you thought, well, I'll give it a try, I suggest getting the Blu-ray. It looks great. All the links for these will be listed in the description section right below this video. So if you do want to get the movie, you can go ahead and buy it through the link there that does help support the channel. And I appreciate all the support all of you have been giving. As always, please make sure to like, subscribe, and click the bell notification next to that. And then follow me on my Instagram or on my Facebook, which are both in search of physical media. And that's the same on both of those. And so it's just the name of the channel, in search of physical media, both on my Instagram and my Facebook. And make sure you click the like and subscribe button down below. As always, I appreciate all of your time today and I hope all of you have enjoyed this and look forward to the next time we get to spend together. I hope all of you have a blessed day.